So, hey, so thank you for your patience in letting me make this video for you. So here are, here are the beautiful paintings slash artworks that you sent me. This is incredible. I like kind of like the dreamy, kind of sunny. You have like a very, like it feels like, like the type of colors and the like the painting style. It just kind of feels like warm and inviting. Anyways, so here's the other painting you sent. So let me show you how uh, pick pulse can, uh, like what you can actually, what you can do to what elements you can add to these paintings in a way which I think adds to it and which doesn't like, you know, which brings attention to your work in a way that doesn't feel like tacky or forced, which I think is because my mom is an artist and obviously she, she doesn't use any like effects in her work to promote it. So like, it's obviously not a hundred percent necessary, but I think it can help in terms of um, uh, when you post something on Instagram or TikTok, etc. So let's, um, so for these files, let's, so these are in the photo gallery of an iOS iPad device. So let's save these to the files section. I'll show you later why I'm, why I'm doing this. So save to files. <sighs> okay. So there are two ways to use PicPulse, which is part of the Teleplay app. First of all, let's uh, rotate this. So that, you know, it's because your paintings are obviously in landscape mode. So let's change it up. So there are two ways to use PicPulse. The first one is to simply add foreground effects on top of your existing paintings. So we're going to go to your background. And what if we do this one? Okay. Can you can, can rotate, resize the painting. How about we just do this and then we can edit out the black outline later. <clears throat> so one thing you can do is search for within foregrounds, search for leaves because I see some fall leaves in the painting. And searching for a foreground, that's one of the ways to find effects. Oftentimes I just like look browsing through the different categories, but I'm going to show you the search feature because I think it's um, something that I underutilize, but which I feel is pretty valuable. Okay, so what if we do, obviously we want fall leaves. So what if we do, okay, what if we do orange fall leaves floating from left to right? Okay, and what if we try to make the leaves, to remove a foreground effect, just hold and click on the X that appears. What if we try for them to be more similar to what's in the actual painting? Okay, I, I'm not a big fan of that because it's almost like a too fast of a tornado. Um, let's see. Hmm. I think I like this one a lot better. So let's say you like this this effect. So all I, have to, all I have to do is hold the red button for two seconds. And then once you're happy with what you see, just tap again. And then the final recording will show up where the rest of your photos and videos are saved to your device. Okay. Okay, so let's uh, let's see what else we can do. <clears throat> okay, you can also have more than one foreground effect at the same time too. So let's go to your background. Let's maybe do this scene right here. So for this one, let me think. Like for this one, I'm thinking, what if we kind of like bring out the blueness of her dress and kind of make it like emanate? So let's see if we can do that. Okay. 
So let's see, like something that's like not, something that's I feel like extremely subtle. So it doesn't take away from anything. Let's see what else we can do. What if we do blue particles? Okay, and then what if we do white particles? Okay, I think that can kind of work. Curious to know what you think. <laughs> okay. What if we do try this one? I'm just curious because it's like the same color as what she's wearing. Let's try that again. Okay, maybe that's a little too much, but I kind of like how that blue color is very similar to what's in the painting. Okay, let's see what else we can think of. I think the some of the most fun for me is just getting a, a um, background or a photo, which I don't know like where I'm going with, and then seeing what we can do with it. If we do something in nature, or what if we do plants and flowers? Okay, this isn't an animation, but maybe something like this, a kind of like adds another foreground element. If we do animals. Oh wait, what if we do something like this? What if we go to this? And what if we do magical blue butterfly? I actually really like this. I mean, it's obviously up to you, but curious what you think of this one, because it kind of matches like the, I think the overall vibe of the scene. Okay, so, um, so that's one way to, you can add foreground effects on top of existing photos and videos. So the other way you can use uh, PicPulse within Teleplay, it'll be its own app very soon, <clears throat> is to um, uh, remove a background from an existing photo, add it to one of the backgrounds here, or replace it with one of the backgrounds here, and then add foreground elements. So let's see if we can do that with your end. So let's uh, let's go to nature, trans nature backgrounds. Okay, what if we do country farm? Okay. Now let's go to your foreground. So the reason why I added the pictures you sent to the file section is because whenever you do your own custom foreground, it only works if it's saved to the file section of your iOS device. So that's fine, the paintings which you sent me. So 
What if we do this? So what if we do a scene that's like feels more like a fall scene, like autumn forest? Oh, okay. And then what if we add the um, the leave foreground elements? So what if we go to nature transitions that's where the leaf, leaf foreground elements are we add more we add about like we add more foreground elements each week so if there's something you don't see let me know and i'll make it happen so let's download it so i believe it was the one we liked was this one and then you can just press record and there we go <clears throat> okay here here are the recordings we made previously this is the latest one and for this one for the other one we made you can just you know you can crop out the black by going to edit and then crop which is right there and what else? so the other thing i wanted to show you let's remove this so you can also, let's try the AI background removal tool. So we go here. I'm not sure it'll work for this one because there's not much background to work with anyways, but let's see if it works. Yeah, I don't think it worked simply because there's not much background to work with. But let's say you have a painting where like the background is very visible such as, for example, for example, let's say you want to remove a background from, from here. So it uses AI to remove the background and it saves it as a PNG layer. And there's our can. And you can do the same thing if you take a picture of a painting like on a wall, and then you can like go to AI surfaces, for example, photo preview, and then click on white palace wall. So there's, we didn't use AI to remove it, but you get the idea. So yeah, that's it. So please let me know if this video helps and I'm here for there any questions.